The reason I watch Bill Maher every week because I think Bill Maher is the only motherfucker that's out here telling the truth. Okay. I just really do. Like, Bill Maher is out here telling the truth about what's going on with our compromised motherfucking democracy. You know, um, he was talking this... He, he always talks about how we, we are normalizing so many things that we shouldn't normalize anymore, especially in, in yeah. government. And he was just talking about how Trump was at the point where Trump was just committing crimes in your face now. <laughs> and it's like, Democrats are just like, well, whatever. Like, they don't even give a fuck no more. Like, he's he's beating them into submission to the point where they're, just, they're like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And I just I just like watching him. But um, he did this, about a couple weeks ago, he did this whole uh, rant. And the rant was really about, hold on. It was from a New York Times article. Okay. That's what he was referencing. And the New York Times article was entitled, Our Food is Killing Us. And it was a quote that reads, poor diet is the leading cause of mortality in the United States. Then he listed all of the terrible health conditions that are caused by obesity. Mm-hmm. And he talked about how obesity is a huge part of a health care debate that nobody is, is having. Mm. Right. And he actually said something that we have said. <laughs> on this podcast a million times if mm-hmm. I'm not mistaken mm-hmm. the first Brilliant Idiots podcast the star shame, shame enterprise, enterprise was actually about how shame Sh- works I've had plenty of people come up to me and say Charlemagne, you shamed me into losing weight whatever whatever now by the way I wasn't attempting to shame you mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying but if you have something you know that's about you that you're ashamed of mm. if I say it to you you'll be ashamed, Mm -hmm. right? And I think that's the thing with shame, right? The thing with shame is it don't matter if I say it publicly or if I pull you to the side. If you're ashamed about something and I say it to you... That's inside you. It's inside you. You can't be offended by something that you don't feel insecure about. You can't shame me if I don't got no fucking shame. That's it. I don't give a shit. I've been talking with a list for 30 years. (laughs) You can say whatever list joke you got. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you you, you can say whatever about me. I don't care. It don't bother me if, if it... Don't bother me. Exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah. And the thing about being fat or obese, whatever, that's something you can actually change. Yeah. And people like to say, oh, what about people who are sick and they have disease? We're not talking about them. Yo, We're talking about you eating fucking dumplings all day. Majority of yeah. the people in America who are fat are fat because of overeating that's and it. lack of exercise. That is a fact. You can argue with me to the cows come home. There's nowhere you're going to read That's that it. doesn't tell you otherwise. I've never so, met a fat person that works out more than me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, never once. Exactly. I've never met one. So the problem with Bill Maher is he's a political pundit who yeah. actually also happens to be a comedian. Yeah. So when you're giving people this medicine, you throw a little candy in it. Yes. And even though it's truth and jokes, yes. when he says fat shaming works... I don't think I think he's looking at it the same, and I can I can't speak for him. I'm just saying that's the way we also look at it, right? Because that is what it's called, right? If I tell somebody, "Yo, you fat, lose some weight," they'll say, "Stop shaming him." I'm not though. I'm just telling that person, "Yo, mm-hmm. lose some weight. You want to be here, right? You mm-hmm. don't have a heart attack, high whatever." Yeah. So I'm not doing it on purpose. So I think when Bill Maher was saying that, that's what he was saying. He's not saying go around and just be teasing fat people right. for the sake of teasing fat people. He's just telling them, yo, if they big, let them know. Yeah. If they're obese, let them know. Like, you encourage them to get into shape. Yeah, yeah. James Corden. Nobody ever lost weight because of compliments. Yes. And James Corden said, I have nothing but respect for Maher. I think he's terrific. I watched his show last night. Uh, but he said, what he said, what did James Corden actually? He said, fat shaming. Oh, Bill Maher said, fat shaming doesn't need to end. It needs to make a comeback. And James Corden basically said, Fat shaming is wrong. And he all I'm saying is he made it all about fat shaming. He made it all about fat shaming, but this whole conversation was bigger than fat shaming. Mm. But being that we're only focusing on this, the, the one line Mar said about fat shaming, we're dismissing everything else mm. about obesity and healthcare yeah. and overeating and lack of exercise. Yeah. Like, we get so distracted. You know what I mean? We're not distracted. He's, he's been a parasite. What do you, you think he's just responding? He's parasiting, man. Mm. That's all he's doing. He's finding a bite. That he can use to virtue signal on. And then he can, you know, pat himself on the back and all his followers can be like, oh my God, you're so good. You're so right. Look how evil that person was. You shine some light on how evil they were. Parasite behavior, dude. Parasite, dude. Yeah. I'm not mad at James Corden for his opinion. You know what I'm saying? He has the right to his opinion. I am. Because you enable people being fat as fuck. And that's an unhealthy thing. It is an unhealthy thing. Would you let your kids be obese? I I would have liked for him to... Have that conversation about Bill Maher. Here's the thing. I have no problem with you pushing back on the fat shaming thing if you equally big up 
all the, the things that you agree with that he said. Yes. Because you did, James did say he's right. Obesity is a real thing and lack of exercise and people are dying because of obesity. But big that up just as much yeah. as you make a point about the fat shaming. Yeah. Thing. You can cause, tell Bill Mario, you can do all of that without encouraging fat shaming. Whatever. Yeah. But just big up the good and what Bill Maher said yeah. as much as you big up what you de- deem as negative. Yeah. You know, it's tricky with a show like that with Bill Maher because he's a comedian, but he is serious. Yes. And I think you get into trouble there because it's like, well, you can't just be a comedian the second motherfuckers give you pushback and then all the other stuff you say that's serious, you go, no, that's, I meant to me, I meant that all of that. Yeah. You know, and I think yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. a lot of comics, like, is. I think it's tough for comics and most people in general just to be content and just be entertainment. But just because it's a joke doesn't mean that it's false. Absol- absolutely. But joke just is ju- joke just means intention. Yes. But if he only did jokes, he could joke about that all he want and, yeah, and then yeah, it's totally yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, but the yeah, fact yeah. that the beginning was serious and yeah, he was giving yeah, these yeah, serious yeah, points, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. almost like he's using the comedy as like a way to get out of jail free. But that's why I like Bill Maher. Th- and that's cool. That's why I love, I think Bill Maher's the best host on television. Who's not Stephen Colbert. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But yeah, Steven yeah. does something totally different. Right. There's nobody I like to... The only other person I used to like to hear that did what Mar did was John Stewart. Yeah, John was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mar is... Mar and, that's why I think Mar has Killer Mike on his show all the time. Because he gets it. Mar is center. Yeah. As much as people act like Mar is left-leaning, no, Mar, Mar is center. Well, Mar criticizes yeah. the left just as much as he considers the right. Yeah. It's just that right now, the right needs a lot more criticism. Right, And but he's also heavy on the left. Like, he's heavy on the criticism the left needs right now, too. He hates... The, listen, yeah. he, he thinks the left is responsible for the pussyfication of society. Yeah. All this cancel culture shit, y'all. He he calls the left a a a a, a, a shooting uh, a circle of shooters. What do they call it? Shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shooter. Huh? You fucking racist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> calls but basically, shooting. If everybody's shooting each other in a circle, everyone's dead. Not a circle jerk, a, a, fi- a circular firing squad. Yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, it yeah. Is. So everybody's killing. Everybody's each other. in a circle. Yeah, everybody's yeah. shooting at each other. You end up killing each other, canceling each other out. That's yeah. what the fuck it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's just as hard on them as he is on the right. But I just like him because I feel like there's nobody out there that's stating the obvious more than motherfucking Bill Maher. Yeah. And he's like, yo, y'all focus on such trivial shit. Like, I really don't care if Donald Trump tells somebody to go back to their fucking country. Right. I care about the legislation Donald Trump is implementing that might really send you back to your fucking country. Yeah. (laughs) We got to start dismantling systems. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck about the little colorful language that's used here and there. Yeah, but systems don't get retweets, bro. What gets a retweet is calling someone an asshole for what they said. Well, I'm and not we know the, that. I'm not in the retweets. I'm in the actual work. Now we talking. You know what I'm saying? And building systems takes time. Dismantling systems take time. And they both take hard work to do. Yeah. It. 